I'm on? All right, thank you. <laughs> See a big smile? All right. Welcome to Electron Online. Now let's take a closer look at a regular pentagon. We're going to use some trigonometry to find the relationship between the base, or I should say the side, which becomes the base of the triangle, H and R. Now what we've done here, we've left up on the board what we had on the previous video. We, here we have the regular pentagon, and notice we can divide the regular pentagon into five equal triangles. If we take each one of those triangles like this and we draw it, we can see that this is the base of the triangle, which is equal to the side of the regular pentagon. We have H, which is the height of the triangle, the distance from there, from the base, to where all the triangles meet. And then we have R, which is this, the two sides of each triangle. It happens to be an isosceles triangle, which means that R and R here are equal to one another. We also realize that the angle at the very tip of each of the the five triangles is equal to 72 degrees because 5 times 72 adds up to 360 degrees. Now what we've done further is we've taken each of these triangles, divided into a half, so that here's the, the drawing where we have R, this is the distance R here, half the side of the regular pentagon, which is the half of the side of the base of the triangle, and then we have here the height of the triangle which means that this angle here will be half of 72 degrees or 36 degrees. Now here comes the part where you need to know a little bit of trigonometry. And even if you don't, that's quite all right. Just stay put and see how this works. The definition of the tangent of an angle is equal to the ratio of the opposite side of the angle divided by the adjacent side. So since here we have the angle of 36 degrees, this would be the opposite side to this angle, and this is the adjacent side to the angle. Notice. The opposite side means it does not touch the angle, and the adjacent side means that the side touches the angle. If we then say that the opposite side is S over 2, and the adjacent side is equal to H, then the tangent of the angle, in this case 36 degrees, is equal to the ratio of S over 2 divided by H. And that's where this equation came from that I showed you last time. If you then solve that equation for H, let's see what we get. We can then say that H is equal to, when we bring h over here, that will be equal to s over 2 divided by the tangent of 36 degrees. And now that begins to look familiar, which when we plug that into a calculator, you may not know what to do with that, but if you simply plug that into a calculator, you take the tangent of 36 degrees, you get 0 0.7, well let me do it here so you can see it. So this would be equal to s divided by 2 divided by 36, take the tangent of that, which is equal to 0 0.7265. Then when you bring the 2 down here, this is equal to S divided by what we had before, 1.453. That's where that comes from. So now we have a relationship between H and S. We can do the exact same thing for R. Notice in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to use the trigonometric function, the sine of the angle. And the definition of the sine of an angle is equal to the ratio of the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse. You have to have a right angle triangle. So there's a right angle triangle right here, or a right triangle. And you can see that this is the opposite side to the angle, and this is the hypotenuse of the triangle. So it's the ratio of the opposite side to the hypotenuse is over 2 divided by r. And that's how we can find the relation between s and r. Solving this for r, we can say that r is equal to s divided by 2 divided by the sine of 36 degrees, which is equal to s over 2 divided by, and using a calculator, you punch in 36, then you punch the sine button, and you get 0 0.588, 0 0.588. And then if you divide both sides by 2, or multiply both sides by 2, I should say, the top and the bottom, so times 2, you get this is equal to S divided by 1.1756 to four decimal places. So, summarizing, if you're given a regular pentagon and you want to know H and R so that you can find the area of each of the five triangles so that you can find the area of the total pentagon, you can then say that H is equal to the side divided by 1.453, and that R is equal to the side divided by 1.1756. And that's how you find the relationship between the side of the pentagon 
M, H, and R. That's how that's done.